States. Well, and the reality is, if these white reactionaries actually spent time in black communities, they would know that black folks have that conversation all the time about what they're going to do to solve the problems in their own communities. But the real issue is what they're attempting to do, and I think that last comment was right on point is they're trying to rationalize stop and frisk and racial profiling. What better way to rationalize stop and frisk in New York or stand your ground laws all over the country than to make folks afraid that if you don't do that, those awful, horrible, animalistic black people are going to get you. The reality is we know in stop and frisk why it was struck down. A, it's unconstitutional. B, it wasn't working. Ninety percent of the time there was no arrest or citation. Less than two-tenths of a percent of the searches resulted in a weapon. Less than five percent drugs. So it had nothing to do with stopping crime, nothing to do with stopping violence, and yet the folks on the right want to justify that fear because that's their politics now. They have essentially gone in as a white nationalist, Afrikaner, Boer party. That's sort of where they are at this point. And, and you know what, Bob, one of the things is 